Okay, so this is a new tool I got. It's the Voltcraft. It's a magnetic field detector tester. You just press the button and it detects magnetic fields, obviously. But anyway, it's one of them tools that I bought, not thinking much of it, and it's turned out to be absolutely fantastic. One of the best tools I bought for a long time. So you test start relays, fuel pump relays. Headlight relays, injectors, solenoids, coils, ignition coils, absolutely brilliant. I can't live without it now. This is I've used it all week, just looking for things to use it on. Absolutely brilliant tool. Another way I just tested this rather than looking at the spark is to use one of these brilliant tool for diagnostics on cars, diesels, everything. Magnetic field tester. So that's it. Not lighting up. I'll touch this back probe wire to earth. So there you see, the coil's energising. Okay, so this is a diesel. I'm just testing the diesel pump solenoid. So as you can see, that's lighting. So that tells me that the solenoid is active, so the fuel should be running. This is a mechanical diesel, otherwise you could test each injector as well with it and see if they are energising. Well this is a mechanical so I can't do that on this, but I will do it on the petrol now. So the injectors and the coils are right at the back of this engine, really hard to get to so you can't really get wires down to them. So let's try this. There you go, that's showing me that the injector for him, and now the coil. Second injector, and the coil. Third one's really hard to get to, fourth one, flashing on and off, and the coil. So, there you go. Really useful test, it's not telling you everything now, but it's telling you that the coils are energised at least. It tells me that it's got good wiring to it, and it's pulsing. So, a lot of information really. Now you could also use it to test to see if your fuel pump was energised. And your fuel injection, whatever relays you got, you can test if they're energised with it. So. But I can't find any, so... <laughs> I don't know where they are on this Citroen, but still useful.